I'm sitting in front of our brand new LED wall from Tech LED. Excited to share with you guys all about the process, the specs, and the considerations that we went through when it came to purchasing and installing this 2.5 pitch LED wall. It all began with months and months of research. You see, I'm the type of person that I just take forever to make big decisions. And I was so afraid of having buyer's remorse. We don't have a large budget, but we're going to be moving into this space when we do the large remodel of our larger worship space. And we really wanted to upgrade our kind of puny projection system in here. And we had a little bit of a budget. So I began the you know, exploration stage of LED wall. So I've been on lots of visits. You've seen on the channel some of my other videos where I've done some of that. I actually flew to Miami to the headquarters of Tech LED to actually go into their warehouse and see for myself in person this product because I really wanted to see is our church going to be making a wise investment? And after that trip, I was convinced that yes, for the budget that we had, this was going to be a great fit for this space. So that led to what I'm calling a product spotlight on the channel, a partnership with Tech LED. Our church paid a hefty portion of the price, but Tech LED did chip in a discount for us and they sent out one of their installers to make sure that this wall went up the correct way and everything went so smoothly. And I'm excited just to kind of share with you some of that process. So let's dive into it. If you're like me and you've been exploring LED wall technology, there's a few considerations you're gonna to have to make for your church when you're going to choose what product to buy. There's really expensive stuff and there's some really budget stuff. And some of the specs that you need to really consider for your space is things like pixel pitch. What is pixel pitch? Pixel pitch is the space between the different LED diodes on each of the modules that make up the LED panels. So you'll hear numbers like 3.9, 3.5, 2.9, 2.5. The lower that number of millimeters is the tighter of those pixels between each other. So that is going to be a higher resolution looking screen. You can be closer to it and it look better. But this is a 2.5, and in this smaller venue space that seats around 160 people, it looks amazing. Tech LED does have some diagrams that help you understand what pixel pitch best fits viewing distances from the screen. If you're shooting for live stream and camera iMag, those considerations also need to be taken into account for maybe how far your pastor is from that screen as well. But things like aperture, depth of field, sensor size on your camera system is going to affect what you're trying to get rid of, more on the LED screen, those weird banding lines uh, in different ways. So there's not really a hard and fast rule when it comes to that, but it is a consideration. Another spec that you wanna be mindful of is refresh rate. I wouldn't go underneath 3840 on the refresh rate. There's some lower budget end panels out there that are lower than that, that are half of that. Most of them nowadays are 3840. There's some even up in the 7000s. I don't know that that's really necessary unless you're doing virtual reality stuff. Um, so I think 3840 is a safe spot to land on the refresh rate. Just don't go below that. Receiving cards is another spec that you'll see on the sheets a lot. I think that if they have a Nova Star card, you're probably going to be good because it's gonna to talk to really the industry standard Nova Star processors that most churches are gonna end up using with their LED walls. And one more spec that I think it's important to consider is the aspect ratio of your LED wall. Most LED wall panels are not a true 16 by nine landscape ratio HD format panel. So you have to go about combining them into a grid to achieve something that's similar to that if that's what you're going for. Now, some companies do make those. They oftentimes can be a little bit more expensive. Maybe not. If that's a really important thing for you, then just make sure that you consider that. 
Oftentimes they're completely square panels and so you need to combine them in a grid to make that true 16 by nine fashion. These panels are actually around 38 inches by 38 inches. And so ours is not a true 16 by nine image, but it's decently close. And to anyone that comes into the room, they're really not going to notice. The easiest way to handle this is just to send your feed into the processor and let it scale things accordingly. Or you can use ProPresenter's built-in options to actually get that aspect ratio perfect on your output that you're sending over to your processor. All right, so let me share a little bit more about these specific panels that we went with. These are a little bit larger panels than most of the ones that I've seen, and I think that might be a way that Tech LED is able to save a little bit of money. They're able to combine 18 different modules onto one larger panel. Those 18 modules receive all of the data from the Novastar MRV412 receiving cards, and it works great. The actual LEDs that are on the modules themselves are three-in-one SMD 2121s, and they are thousand nit brightness. And so we've actually got these dialed back to 60% brightness. And in this space, we don't have ambient light. I think it looks amazing. You know, there's a lot of LED wall companies out there nowadays. One of the reasons I went with Tech LED is that they've been around for a long time. And when I went and visited them in person, I was able to see like they do repairs on site. They have a lot of different panels that they make and service long term. They have a good warranty program and you can get 10% off your purchase of an LED wall from Tech LED. Just make sure that you use that link in the description. So once we decided we wanted to go with these panels, we went ahead and purchased them from Tech LED. And the next step in the process is them shipping all of the materials and the panels safely to you via freight. They come wrapped really nicely and safely on pallets in these uh, super nice, like touring grade rolling cases. They did a really good job packing them, shipping them. So we just had to make sure that there was no damages to any of the cases and that everything looked good. We approved the shipment and then we scheduled the install after that. And speaking of install, ours is a little interesting here because this is actually a wall that was built after we built this building. So it is a, a steel aluminum stud uh, wall that is not an exterior wall. There's not also any beams directly above our stage. And so hanging a 500 pound wall from the ceiling was not going to be an option. If you can do that, that makes life a lot easier. They provide amazing hanging bars that things just clip into, and then each panel just clips together, and then you can service things from the back. If we can do that in the future, that's what I would definitely prefer to do. But in our instance, we wanted to wall mount these things. And so we utilized Unistrut to be able to tap in to create a hanging grid on our steel structure in the back of our wall and make it a safe and sturdy build to mount these panels directly to. Now, I'm thankful that the guys from Tech LED knew what they were doing because I'm sure that if you don't have things perfectly level, that getting those seams to line up just right on panels may become an issue. They do, you know, clip together and tighten together, but you know, by the end of everything coming together, it just looked perfect. And they do also offer a ground stack system if you have the stage space available. Those work well. We just don't have the stage space in here in our smaller venue. We wanted to go with the wall mount and it worked beautifully. Now, once we had set that install date, there's two things that you're going to want to do before you actually get the install happening. You're gonna to need to run electrical and data to the space where the wall is going to be. Tech LED provided us with that electrical scope that is going to be needed. We needed two 20 amp circuits to be able to run both rows of our LED wall. Uh, so we got those ran and in place, and then I needed to run two cat cables, CAT6 cables, 
uh, from where our backstage rack is going to hold the Novastar processor up to where the wall is going to be. And it just daisy chains between the panels for those data runs. Depending on your wall size, you know, you can only send so many pixels down so many runs. And so Tech LED will help you. They'll send you a diagram to be able to understand what the flow of that data will be. Install took one full day and it really went pretty seamlessly. We had a couple of modules that had a dead pixel on them. So we just swapped those out with the spares that were sent. And that is a nice thing is that you get some spare parts along the way. And if we ever have a pixel go out on one of the modules, we can just pop that out front serviceable, put the spare in, and then be able to send it back to Tech LED here on the state side of things there in Miami, and then be able to get that repaired and sent back. And so that is a huge benefit in my mind. I don't have to send things all the way across the ocean to get things serviced. So guys, I'm extremely happy with the screen. We just recently got it installed a month ago. And so I'd love to do a six month, year, six years down the road. How is the screen holding up? Because it is a more budget friendly option for the church. But you know, you have to ask yourself, where is that law of diminishing returns? In this space, it's our student center essentially. And uh, it's a needs the close viewing distance because of where people are located to the screen. And for me, the deciding factor of features versus price landed me with this Tech LED 2.5 indoor screen. And I think it's gonna suit us well for years to come, fingers crossed. So I do wanna say thanks again for Tech LED. They've been great to work with, Manny and the team there. So obviously I will put a link in the description. Use that link and it will let them know that you watched this video and found them through me, Ryland. And if you have any questions about the wall, the process, Tech LED, drop those in the comments below. I'm an open book, guys. I mean, yes, Tech LED did give us a discount, so this is a sponsored video, but we paid our money <laughs> to be able to utilize this screen in this space, and so this is not like a free thing. Um, but I, I think that it's gonna be a great tool to be able to use in this space for years to come. So remember, guys, at the end of the day, we can do a lot of great things. Let's remember to do it all for God's glory. We'll see you in the next one.